Aloha and welcome to Life Journaling and Dash for the 4th of November 2021. We're your hosts. I'm David. Taking a nap next to me is Ollie. Across the table we have Hana the Golden Retriever and Uvella. And she looks kind of awake this morning. Ollie. Ollie. Come here. <laughs> Come here. She's, she's not interested. You know. So we'll go ahead. Today's readings are from Job chapter 26 and 27, Mark chapter 15 and 16, and I'm calling this one, Why? Would you like to start us off in a prayer? Sure, but isn't there a song? With... Why? Yeah, why? <laughs> why, M-C-A, why? Anyway. <laughs> Lord Jesus, thank you for your humor. Thank you for giving us your humor. Thank you for giving us your word. Please help us to grow closer to you. And for those who are listening, Lord, let them take away a nugget to help them grow closer to you. Amen. And just as a refresher, what we do in the morning is our life journaling. This was started by Pastor Wayne Kader out of Hawaii years ago. And it's something that's um, important to us that we've continued to do daily. And we thought, okay, let's just go ahead and record it. And then we could share it with you because it's helped us. It may help you. Um, we break it down into SOAP, which is the scripture, observation, application, and prayer. And then there's people all over the world reading the same scripture on the same day. You don't have to buy a special manual, special book, or anything like that. We're just all reflecting on the same scriptures. And it gets us to read through the Bible, the Old Testament once, and the New Testament twice in a single year. So today, I'm pulling from Mark chapter 15, verses 13 and 14. Crucify him, they shouted. Why? What crime has he committed? asked Pilate. But they shouted all the louder, Crucify him. This is when Jesus is going to be killed on a cross. My observation. Pilate asked the people what he should do, and because some of them were bought off and encouraged to have Jesus killed, it was the chief priests, elders, and teachers of the law who had bound Jesus and taken him and handed him over to Pilate to start with my application this is a reminder for me to do my own thing and not listen to the crowd or not to just follow what is popular or trending recently even well-liked retired general colin powell died and as an example of someone even in her present times who appeared before the american congress he said what he said he believed it was true but it turned out not to be true and there weren't weapons with our enemies and such and so it's just a reminder that even present day, we need to do what God has asked us to do. And I will make sure I'm in the word to do my own research each day. I will know more about the Lord and I want to please him and not others who will one day all die. My prayer, Lord, provide me with wisdom and discernment so that I can understand the difference between what I can do and what I must do. Help me to understand the why. Give me the strength to follow your ways and not man's ideas, even if they sound good, but do not match. Amen. Um, I think it's really important to mention that uh, Colonel Powell, that was one thing that he apologized to the public. And he was um, very upset with himself for doing that. I used him as an example because I looked up to him and I still do. Yeah. You know, um, we all have sins and stuff like that. But he was a person that I was in the military and I followed, you know, I, I looked up to him. For him to come out to public to say, I'm sorry, I think also speaks real loudly. Yeah. So um, I think that you looked at mine and copied almost verbatim. Okay. Okay. She had the right answer today. Go ahead. Mine it doesn't was, always match. Mine was from Mark 15, 5. Wanting to satisfy the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas to them. He had Jesus flogged and handed, uh, handed him over to be crucified. My observation. Pilate is talking to the crowd who brought Jesus to him. Pilate had the authority to do what he wanted with Christ. However, he chose to please the crowd. My application. This is just a warning to me to make sure I am living a life to please. I am to make sure I am not living a life to please others. My first priority when I live life is to please God. 
Right now in the news, there are so many opinions to persuade me to think a certain way. As a child of God, I need to make sure I align with God, not popular opinions. In fact, we had that conversation last night while we were watching the news. My prayer, Lord, help me not to help me to not obtain a crowd's opinion and agree with it because that seems to be the right thing to think. Help me to keep my mind clear with your word so I can act and react according to your guidance. Thank you for teaching me through your word. Amen. Yeah. And I would like to just encourage the people who watch this that, um, you know, like Matt, you faithfully do your journaling every day and Michael and others that do that. And there's a lot of people around the world that do that. Stay strong. Stay the course. Uh, spend time with Jesus. Spend time with God. And um, I know that I have not regretted any of the last 20 years. I haven't. But I want to share with you some things I learned while I was Try and look at the scripture saying, okay, Lord, what do you want me to, to write about? You know the gentleman who carried the cross for Christ? Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to see what happened to him after that. And there really isn't anything in the Bible or in history that tells us about him. There is a belief, because in Mark, it talks about his two sons. And later in Acts... Paul refers to someone with the same name. So maybe this guy's son helped with the first church. It's not 100% uh, sure. Um, I'm but, laughing because he was the first voluntold person. <laughs> well, he was told to volunteer. It was also interesting because somewhere I read that it was Paul who helped Mark write Mark. I don't. I hadn't heard that before. Um, the other one was whenever they offered Jesus when he went to the cross, there was wine mixed with myrrh. And why didn't he take it? And um, that was kind of to help him not feel the entire pain, make him numb, and he didn't want that. But he had said at the, um, the, the communion ceremony at the Last Supper, he said, I won't drink from this. Right. Very good. They brought that up too. And then later they touched his lips with the wine vinegar. And the reason why, when I read that, the reason why he did that is because he wanted to say it is fish finished. But because when you're on, when you die on the cross, you perspire, you sweat, you bleed out, you have no uh, water in you, you're parched, you can't talk. And so he wanted to be able to say, it is finished. And so just even by touching the lips, he was able to say those last words. Well, I think there's also so much detail in these accounts. There's more detail in the accounts of Jesus than there are of Caesar and other um, people of our past history. And uh, so I can believe that God is real, that Jesus lives, and I have faith in this. But there's also a lot of history documents showing that this was a true story, that this did occur. And to think that some of the advice that we've been handed down 2,000 years ago, think of that. Things that people are doing 300 years ago aren't even being done now. But this was godly advice. It has to be summed up as godly advice that was handed to us over 2,000 years ago. Well, that's why it's called God's Word. That's true. Tomorrow's readings are still from Job, but we go on into Galatians. So for the 5th of November, we're going to be reading from Job chapter 28 and 29 and Galatians chapter 1 and 2. Now, if you're brand new to journaling, then it's okay just to start with like the New Testament, the Galatians chapters 1 and 2, until you build up that reading muscle and you're able then to go further and dive deeper with the Lord. So, dear, would you like to close this in prayer? Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you've given us. Thank you for watching over us and guiding us. And thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to help us hear through your, your ears and not to fall into the trap of thinking like others are thinking, which may not be correct, especially right now with what's happening in the news. 
In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.